Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon, and welcome to today's commentary. It's a one shot The Tale of the Crimson Flower. Let's get started. <laughs> Once upon a time, in some kind of kingdom, Mikhail Baryshnikov presents Stories from My Childhood, a collection of exquisite animated films from the vaults of Soyuz Multfilm, Russia's premier animation studio. Today, Beauty and the Beast, the, tale is. Of the Crimson Flower, starring Amy Irving as the beauty, Tim Curry no. as the beast, and Robert Lozhin as the father. <laughs> Yes, Tim Curry voices the Beast in this. He had actually been in the running for the role for the Disney film. The music, the, mu the music's fantastic, and so is the animation. Honestly, this place looks better than a uh, Bounce Town in the Disney film. Stop eating, Russia. You'll spoil your appetite. Ow! I'm always hungry. Yes, you are. Shoot! There's fur all over my dress. It's all right. Come on. Father will be home any minute, Anastasia. I hope lunch is ready. Here he comes. It's Father. Hurry now. Well, this is <laughs> this is based on the Russian version of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Father, good day. Welcome home. Lunch is ready. You look tired, Father. No, not tired. I'll be thinking. Tomorrow I leave on a long journey. I cannot say. While I'm away, I want only one thing from my daughters. Listen to me, girls. You must find a way to live together in peace and harmony, with no bickering and no fighting, only love. If you will do this one thing for me, I will bring you back anything you wish. So what do you have me bring you, Natalia? Oh, let me think. I want a crown. Like no one else has ever had. Covered in jewels. Rubies and diamonds. Solid gold. So people will say of me, is she not beautiful? 
yeah. You shall have your beautiful crown, Natalia. And what shall I bring back for you, my pretty Parasha? <laughs> I don't know. Not much. Only a trifle I've heard about. <laughs> it's a magic mirror. When you look into it, you are forever young. With it, I will never look old. And I will always be young and pretty. <laughs> <laughs> You'll always be pretty to me, mirror or not. He's a good man. What is he, Anastasia? All I need is your safe return. But I want to bring a gift to you. Once in a dream, I saw it. A flower. Crimson red and peculiar, with a sadness about it. <laughs> a sad flower? Ridiculous. Goodbye, Anastasia. I will find your crimson flower. I give you my promise. Promise me only that you will return. I love you, Father. Crimson flower. Such an odd request. Where would you find it, Stephen? I don't know, my friend. Perhaps it exists only in Anastasia's dream. At least we found the mirror trinket for Parasha. Hmm. We'll see about that. Is this the magical mirror you boast of creating? <gasps> it is magical, Stephen. Just as Parasha said it would be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just what Parasha hoped for. Oh. I'll take it. She will be so pleased. Look at me. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> uh, seeing the camels is actually my favorite part. Of this scene, because I don't, you don't see Bactri and Camons uh, that often in animation. Perhaps it's the place to find Anastasia's flower. Look there. <laughs> no daughter of mine would want a sword for a gift. Why not buy Anastasia? A gift of gold, or finely spun silk. No, I will bring her what she asked for. Look over there. Stephen, look at that. What is it? What's hidden there? <sighs> A crown of gold. I'd like to go on record this was made in the 50s, so... Yeah. Goods are sold. We've done well. And our gifts are gathered. It's time for us to go home. Not quite. I have no gift for Anastasia. The crimson flower. It is what I promised. Look, Stephen. Look out there. Fish that fly without wings. Strange creatures that glow. Perhaps we've reached the end of the world. It's time to turn back. I will not. I must find the crimson flower. The sky is too clear. A strong wind is with us. I fear the sky, and the wind is too strong. A storm is upon us. Secure! To the wind! We've got to hold 
Yes, rare indeed. And what land is less? Nor anyone outside, Rager. Perhaps I have really reached the end of the world. If the Crimson Flower does exist, this is surely the place I'll find it. Mm -hmm. A palace. So I'm not alone on this island. Magnificent. The master of this house must be very rich and powerful indeed. Again, if I'm gonna make a comparison to the Disney film, uh, that looks more impressive than either version of the castle in the Disney movie. Is it real? Both Disney movies, live action and animated. Look at all that detail. Indeed. I thank you for the meal. Wherever you are. Perhaps. 
Perhaps I am to meet the gracious master of this house after all. What a kind and loving daughter she must be to have earned such fierce devotion. For her, I will let you live. You may leave my island and take the crimson flower, but you must give your solemn promise that one of your daughters will return in your place. Oh no, I cannot do that. She will be well cared for. Never! You do not know a father's heart. Someone must pay for your transgression. Someone must return here to be my companion. Or you must die. I will give you a ring. Whoever places it on their finger will instantly return to me. If it is not one of your daughters, then it must be you. I can live in loneliness no longer. Hello, Alex. You're my most trusted friend. Well, uh, what is it, Stephen? At sunrise, I must put on the ring. Uh, ring? And return to the terrible beast. What? No, Stephen. Don't go. You mustn't. I gave my word, my promise. The ship is yours. I entrust to you the care of my beloved daughters. Stephen, please, you cannot go. I made a promise. I took his flower. I must pay the price. Stephen, please do as I ask. Take care of my home. Be father to my children, especially. <laughs> Thank you. 
And so Anastasia is determined to go in her father's place. My silly desire caused you to stir the wrath of the vengeful beast. It is not your guilt. It is mine. And I must be the one to answer. Anastasia. Father, forgive your foolish daughter. Anastasia! And so does she travel into the land of the beast. Stay here with me. Stay? With you? I will. It won't be so terrible. I promise you, I will give you all you need. You shall have the finest gowns and robes in all the world. Go, look at yourself. Perhaps that's too old-fashioned. Better? <laughs> well... <laughs> this is nice. I'll try again. <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. But I prefer my own ones. They are simple. As I am. As you wish, Anastasia. I have no desire to punish you. I wish only for your happiness. 
Come and view the beauty of this island that is now your home. This island and all that is here is yours to share. All I ask in return is that you treat me with the same compassion you give all living things. I welcome you here, not as a guest, but as an equal. You are now the mistress of this house. It seems that you're not the beast my father spoke of after all. Why do you not show yourself? No. I must always remain the invisible one. It is my dearest hope that you will bring laughter and song back into my house. Your kind heart and beauty already put to shame the riches of my palace. Thank you for everything, Invisible One. It's all wonderful, but not for me. Here's your ring. Keep it. Its magic is very powerful and yours to control. With it, you may return home whenever you wish. I cannot hold you here. But remember, your father promised I would not be alone. If you go, I don't know what I will do without you. Now full of one song in this movie. like me into your heart. You have the power of the ring. Use it to fly away from me, and alone I will die of grief. I promise. I will not leave. 
Not if it will hurt you. I'm content here. And I care for you. If only I could believe. Hello, Alex. I think this is a child. <laughs> Spin round and round. Show distant lands where life abounds. That's beautiful. Oh, lovely. It's Canada. Beneath the sea, the fishes fly. Bring such a world before our eyes. Oh, look, the shell is open. <laughs> How wonderful. Show me more. Perhaps you wish to see your home. No. Oh, please, don't show me my home. My heart will break. Please, don't show me. I'm not so cruel and savvy. You may go home. Only return to me by sunset, or I will die. Nastasia. My dearest father. Anastasia. Anastasia. Natalia. Anastasia is here! Anastasia is back! Anastasia? Our sister? She's home? Anastasia, my baby. Anastasia? Otani, Karasha, my sisters, I'm so happy to see you. Look at you! Look at your dress! You look so beautiful! So elegant! I've never seen such fine cloth. What did you bring for us? Yes, where are the gifts? Uh, the gifts? Yes, the gifts. The greedy pair, aren't they? Look at this. And me? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have I ever seen such things? Oh, oh. <laughs> I've missed you all so much. But the beast was kind to me. It was he who sent me back. My precious. He has such a good heart. But it is heavy. With loneliness. I am a sister the sunset. How clever you are, sister. To trick the stupid beast into letting you go. Yeah, I hate her. Her too. Hate them both. I thought to deceive him. If I'm not back by sunset, I'm sure he will die of grief. I must return to him. Let him die. <laughs> the ugly thing deserves to die. <laughs> Why did you do chatterboxes? Trust you, Anastasia. Return to me. Such beautiful riches. I know, I know. If she brought these riches for us, can you imagine what riches are in the palace? And think of the food, sweets, and delicacies. It's not fair. I should be the one to have these riches. <laughs> then you go live with them. No, I won't. And neither will Anastasia. What? Who needs a suitor who doesn't even come from the original story when you've got these two? Anastasia. 
to leave? Is our house no longer good enough? Why do you worry so? It's not even seven yet. But it seems late. It's quite dark in here. Why are the windows shuttered? Who did this? Alasha? It was cold. That's right. <laughs> must not die, I beg you. I love you, my lonely beast. Please, don't run from me. You looked into my heart and loved me when I appeared to be a beast. I need you to love me still as the man I really am. I do love you. For years I've lived alone and ugly on this island. A witch who hated my good fortune put a spell on me. As a beast, I was forced by the terrible witch to live until a beauty could look beyond my ugly face and see into my heart. You are that beauty, Anastasia. And the evil spell is broken. Together we will be now forever. For truly, the beauty of your heart has transformed this humble beast. That's a happy ending.
So that was the Tale of the Crimson Flower. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent uh, English voice cast. Uh, good to see an adaptation that's not derivative of uh, the Jean Cocteau film. I'm looking at you, Disney. You've done it thrice. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay straight.